aren't you a beautiful little plant? Oh, hey there! I'm just talking to my plants. Today we're talking about being rooted in love. What you will need for today's video is the worksheet. It is in the description, so print this out. You will also need something to color with, some scissors, your Bible, and a brown paper bag. It could be one like this one, a lunch bag, or it could be one that you find at the grocery store. It just needs to be brown, paper, and a bag. So grab those five things, the worksheet, something to color with, scissors, your Bible, and a brown paper bag. So this week we're gonna switch it up a bit and actually do the craft first. So grab your brown paper bag and your scissors and we're going to start this craft by cutting little strips in the top so in the top part where it is open you can close it and cut little strips about this big just a little bit into it so don't cut all the way but cut strips about this big if you have a bigger uh, grocery bag cut a little bit bigger strips because you don't want too many so i'm just going to cut a few strips into this bag a little of the ways down doesn't have to be perfect so i have a few strips in the top of this bag now what you're going to do is open up the bag it'll be kind of difficult because the it's all ripped but open up the bag all the way and you're gonna kind of open it a little bit more on the bigger ends like this to help it. And then you're gonna smush it down and together. So like this and on the bottom of your, or the top of your desk, squish it down like this. So there's a little, it's flat and it's smushed together. Quite a mess right now. And you're gonna twist it a little bit. Now, you can guess to see what we're making, but twist it like this until you get to the little fringe part. So now you have the trunk of your tree that we're making. The next step is to just take each strip of paper and twist it a little bit, crinkle it, make it into a nice, branch and you're gonna do this with every strip of paper <laughs> that one just fell down but you just kind of crinkle it do it however you want make little branches in your tree it's kind of fun satisfying to crinkle this paper and do it for every strip of paper Boom, I already have a tree looking thing. And once you do it to every strip, it should end up looking like this. Cool little tree without leaves, but it's an epic tree that we just made out of a paper bag. Pretty cool. So once you've made your tree, set that aside and we're gonna be coming back to it. But first, let's read the passage today. We're gonna be reading Ephesians, so open up to the back of your Bible to find Ephesians. And the verse we're reading is Ephesians 3, verses 16 through 18. So find that big three and that tiny 16. Ephesians 3, verses 16 through 18 go like this. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. Amen. So this passage says that your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. So let's pull out that tree that we made and we can see that this tree doesn't have any roots. It's just sitting on the top of our table. 
Now, when you're walking down the street, you don't see that trees have these big roots underneath, but they do. They have so many roots that you don't even see. I have this plant here that has a lot of roots that you wouldn't normally see, that they're, they're normally hidden under the soil, but they keep the plant secure and strong in their place in the earth. So let's pull out this tree and see what happens when trouble comes, when wind gushes over it. It falls over. There's nothing to keep it in place. There's no roots to secure it into the ground. It just topples over when trouble comes. So let's see what happens when we add roots, when we're rooted in God's love. We'll see if that strengthens the tree and strengthens us. So what you're gonna do is Grab your scissors and just cut one slit in each side of the four corners, like so. And do the same like you did on the top. And twist it into little roots of the four corners. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just four little roots in our tree that we made. And now, when the roots are on top, they're in the soil in your hand, and they are grounded to this earth. So when trouble comes, it doesn't topple over. Even if I hit it, it won't come out because it is rooted in the ground. Just like we are rooted in God's love, and we are strengthened by God's love. What I would like us to do next is to grab our worksheet and your something to color with. And let's write down places in our life that we need reminders that God loves us, of God's deep, wide, long love for us. I'm gonna write down school. Sometimes I forget when I'm in school, when I'm overwhelmed with stress and disappointment in some of the grades that I get, or I just have lots of work to do, I forget that God loves me. God loves us in all aspects of our life. So let's remind ourselves and write down places that you need reminders that God loves you. So I wrote down school when I'm nervous, insecure, shy, overwhelmed, stressed when I'm in school. I need to remind myself that God loves me in that. I also wrote sad and happy. When I'm sad, I need to remind myself that God's love is deep and wide for me. I also wrote when I'm happy. When I'm happy, God wants to celebrate with me and be excited with me and celebrate my successes. So this week, I want us to remind ourselves of God's love for us in these areas of our life, to grow our roots deep into God's love, to strengthen us. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have fun making your trees, seeing if they topple over with roots or not. You can go see the plants in your yard to see if they have roots, to see if they're strong. I hope to see you guys on Sunday at 11 a.m. We have a fantastic Zoom call for middle and elementary school students, so you're welcome to join us. We play games, it's a lot of fun. You can email me and I will send you the Zoom link for the Sunday Zoom. See you later.